someone asked me about the books that I have on this side of the wall. Uh, as you know, I do have my Springer Verlag collection down there. Some Prentice Hall textbooks as well. These are mostly on differential equations, ODEs and PDEs. There's the little topology uh, section down there. But on this side of the wall, I do have mostly on textbooks on algebra. So for example, we have here linear algebra with applications by Stephen Leon. We do have two textbooks entitled the same, a first course in abstract algebra down here, a first course in abstract algebra as well. The first one is by Rutman, the second one by Paley, and I think it's pronounced by cell. Not quite sure though. We do find here as well, Abstract Algebra by Hungerford, very popular textbook. I'm gonna do a video later on as well. Linear Algebra down here. Frehley and Beauregard down there. Um, elementary Linear Algebra and so on. It, this one, a beautiful textbook on linear spaces. Theory, on, theory of Linear Spaces by Shilov. So if you keep running along this side of the of the wall, actually, you're gonna find here a f first course on linear algebra, some some linear and non-linear programming, applied linear algebra down here, elements of linear algebra, and matrix theory by more, some more linear algebra, and then fundamental structures of algebra. Elementary matrices, nonlinear and dynamic programming, Bradley. And then on this side, I do have a few textbooks on discrete mathematics. So there's Gilbert and Keller here, Applied Finite Mathematics, Commonson, an introduction to discrete mathematics and its applications, actually. Then <clears throat> you move on to discrete math with graph theory as well. So a little bit about graph theory by Gudair and Parmenter down there. The book by Sendov, Hausdorff Approximations, some applied mathematics, recursions down here. And then there's a little section on mathematical logic, actually. Proofs and fundamentals, mathematical logic down there. Uh, the elements of logic, proofs and refutation. Um, and then there's a super tiny section here on number theory. So rec uh, recreations in the theory of numbers by Beiler, Reichmann down here, the fascination of numbers, uh, some elementary number theory, topics from the theory of numbers, and then I do have on this side as well a few uh, issues from, you know, old journals, math journals down here, oscillation, bifurcation and chaos down there, algebraic theory of quadratic forms, very interesting, lectures on geometric methods in mathematical physics, free analysis on groups, and partial wave analysis. And down here at the bottom, we find the Dover collection indeed. Dover is a very nice house, actually. They have taken, for example, classic books on analysis. And these are cheaper editions, but actually good value for money. Excellent value for money here, Dover. We do find here differential geometry. Um, vectors and tensor analysis down here with applications. Uh, bounded, sorry, unbounded linear operators, theory and applications. And the one that I was recently reading is this excellent book by Knopp, Conrad Knopp, The Theory of Functions. So uh, the theory of elliptic functions is, um, you know, unfolded. It's a, it's a super nice textbook, actually. We do have as well, where is it? Uh, where is it? Oh, down 
No, not that one. It's a textbook about differential equations. Oh, I think it's down there actually at the bottom, but it's from the Dover edition. And on this side, by the way, I do have a few textbooks on calculus. So Bears, Bears is an excellent mathematician. He, well, he was a, an analyst. Mostly his research is on complex analysis. We, ha we have here Kaplan calculus, uh, calculus with analytic geometry, the book by Onsted as well. Fleming, functions of several variables, math analysis here, couple of, you know, high school mathematics down here, and the book that I talked about the other day, Ordinary Differential Equations by Inns. Um, and so on. We have there the Kreisig edition. I oh, know, no, sorry, Kreisig is down here. So Advanced Modern Engineering Mathematics by Glenn James. And... On the other side, we have a little bit about physics down here, classic classical mechanics down there, uh, a few books about probability. Um, we do have as well on this side some of these, you know, interesting textbooks about history of mathematics, history of mathematics down there, the mathematical experience. Uh, mathematical thinking down there, um, some trigonometric delights down there, and so on. And finally, on this side, I do have Dictionary of Mathematics. Very, very interesting. Two volumes down here. Tons of history of, you know, modern and older mathematics in these two volumes. I want to talk about these. Uh, so this is pretty much what I have on this side of the of the wall. Additionally, I do have a few books on French literature that I loved when I was, you know, young. I do have here some Jules Verne that I I love, and some other textbooks that are not mine. Um, so yeah, but my books are basically on mathematics. This is what I read. Um, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video and. Hope that I answered the question. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.